everyone and welcome to my channel. Today is Tutorial Wednesday and today's tutorial, if you haven't heard, is the Pokemon game. I have Pikachu because he is one of my Pokemon, which I'll show you right now. So I'm just going to go down to find Pikachu to show you guys I have Pikachu. There he is. People are messaging right now. It's bothering me. <laughs> and there is Pikachu. Um, I'm going to show you how to log in to Pokemon Go. It's on, I'm pretty sure it's on iOS and Android now. Um, so I'm just going to log out of my account here, which scares me a bit. It's been having issues when I'm trying to get back in. Okay, there's the sound. That's the sound mix. That's what it looks like. You can do the Pokemon um, Trainer Club or Google. If you have a Google account, I would recommend that highly. Because I also have a Google account on here too. Um, which I just put on my email. Which I don't have Pikachu on this account. So I wasn't aware how to get Pikachu. Oh my god. It's trying to BS me right now. There we go. And it's not going to be in. That's what it says. Watch your surroundings. And here's my other account. On here, I don't have Pikachu. I don't. I have very little and no eggs. On my other account, I had two eggs. So I got them today. Um, but there's just like a little thing you can do. Um, I'm going to try to show you guys. I'm going to sign out of here. And we're going to create a new Gmail account because I have another email address for like my Twitter and stuff like that because it's not my to do something. So we're going to Google, we're going to put in my new email address that I have for Twitter and stuff. So I'm just typing that in. I would suggest if you don't have a Gmail account to create one, it's really easy. And that way you have no issues of signing in all the time. Because on the Pokemon Trainer, I have been able to sign in for like the past two hours because of the servers and everything. So create a Gmail account and do it that way. Much easier, trust me. And then just put in the password. Alright. Okay, so it's gonna create my new account right here. Just a quick accept. And here's Dr. Professor Rill. I mean, yeah, Professor Rill right here. Um, I'm late to the game, unfortunately, because I was only aware of it yesterday. Monday. Monday, I was it. I just skipped it because I don't feel free. <laughs> just telling you the basics, pretty much. And then you create your character. You can be a guy or a girl. So I'm going to be a girl, obviously. So we put your check mark. I have the skin color, but you can just mess it with that. So I'm going to give it my skin color. And hair. For me, it's gonna be purple. You can choose different colors, but I'm gonna choose purple. I like that. And then I'm just gonna do one because I like the eye color right like there. And then we're gonna go to hats. Um, I might keep that hat. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that hat. At least I'm gonna be team red people. And I'm gonna change that to yeah, I'll leave that. And the pants I'm gonna change to that because it looks cute. And I like it. Shoes we're gonna change to red. And the backpack, we're going to change. I think there's a purple one there. Awesome. Boom, we're done. That's it. That's all you do. And he's going to show you. See, the trick is to get Pikachu, is what you have to do. It's a lot of walking, just so you know. I've done this. <laughs> it's a lot of walking. You have to walk away from these guys four times. But once you do it four times, you get Pikachu. I can't do it right now. Wish I could, but I can't. So now, I'm just gonna close it out. I'm gonna come back in. Let's see if I get it right. I wanna show you guys how to catch a Pokemon. But we'll see what happens. <laughs> no. Um, I'm just gonna tell you what you do because I have to go walking again <laughs> to get Pikachu. Yes. Um, I think I'll just show you on here. So let's just let me show you because it's easier to show you than to tell you actually. 
So you just do this. You just pick so you can move around like this. It's awesome. Um, what you do is you just pick a, a Pokemon. I'm gonna go with this guy. Fire. Turn this on. Let's see? It's right there! It's right there! So I get angle so you can see. I just go like this really fast to get extra points. Can you hit him? I missed him. So we're gonna try this again. Got him. You know you got him because he has a green around him. You can get those easily. Got him. So we got him. So you get you get 100 points for a Pokemon caught. You get 500 points for a new Pokemon. So remember that. What you can also do is if you get multiples of the same one, you can actually turn them in. So you can go down here, look all of that. You can transfer them and get candies, which is awesome. So you just, you just collect your first Pokemon. It's awesome. Then you just click a nickname. I'm just going to use my regular name at this point. See what happens. And we're going to click OK. Yes. Name isn't available. Um, so I'm just going to do a combination of my first and last name. Crystal Win. I'm going to click OK. Click Yes. My name isn't available either. Oh my god. Um, okay, my name is picked. So he's just telling you that at these places, you can find items at Poke Stops. Because what you do when you get to a spot, which I've done today, you just it would be a big round circle and you just spin it, you get pokeballs, you get all kinds of cool stuff. I got eggs. <laughs> That's basically what those are. So, now you gotta walk. Um, if you're in a car, you can actually catch Pokemon while you're moving in a car, but you can't do Poke stops or gyms like that. You have to stand still for those. And that's it, you just walk around. Um, I'm going to show you how some of this items works. See, we got incense, you got two of those. You get two of those at first. And what incense does is it, it you put a scent around you and it attracts Pokemon to your location. So I'm going to show you how that works, at least for a few minutes. So now, see there's a the little thing going around that's the incense working its magic. And now what we're going to do is we're just going to wait until a Pokemon shows up. Hopefully soon. <laughs> Sometimes it can take up to two or three minutes before your first Pokemon shows up. Or you can do this while walking, actually. Never tried that. Um, they say the leaves can indicate there's a Pokemon near, but it's not 100% accurate, so. And look, there's a Pokemon. So what is this? Okay. You gotta find him. A Weedle. So we just spin, like that. Spin fast to the stars, and you aim, and you get him. No, it's just gonna do that. Put your gun, because it's the green circle around him. The ones that are gonna be tough um, have an orange or a red circle around them, like that guy did. So, Pokemon caught, 100 points. New Pokemon, 500 points. So now I have 600 points. I have 100 Stardust, and I have 3 candies. And I'm gonna show you what the candies and stuff like that is for. It shows you new Pokemon. So now we should go over here. We should go to our Pokemon. Let's do Charmander. Let's do him. So you can power him up. Him up. To power him up, you need 200 um, Stardust and you need one candy. We have 200 Stardust and three candies. To evolve him, you need 25 candies. But work with what we've got. So we're gonna power him up. Yes. And then we can. See, I miss it when they said their names when they did that. That's just me. Only, only one I've seen that actually says their name is Pikachu. Others just growl at you. <laughs> but only one I've seen that does that is Pikachu. Which I'm going to go walk in so I'm going to get Pikachu back. Because <laughs> I'm going to create a new Gmail account and I'm going to go walk over Pikachu because I can't stand on this Pokemon training thing. It's aggravating. So that's what you do. You can either walk around with this or you can just stay lazy like me and just sit here and wait. <laughs> you can go around like that. It's really cool. 
I will go back to my items. These can show you the items that you can get at a later time. Um, in incubator, because when you get eggs, um, what you have to do is you have to actually walk. You can't be in a car and go around like that, no. You'll be able to walk to a certain distance. Um, I think it's 5 to 20 kilometers, which is like 3 to 12 miles for us. Um, so you have to actually walk those to get the egg to hatch. Um, so I'm going to take another of this one. Oops. If you don't want this music, like it's driving me nuts right now, let's go to settings, turn off music. That's better. <laughs> um, there's a power saver, which is really good. Like if you have a phone, which I obviously don't, you put on power saver, just click power saver, and then when your phone goes upside down, it does that. It's really cool. Um, but since I'm never going to do that, I don't really need that. But it's really cool. That way you can keep the app on, like if you have eggs or something, and on your phone it will buzz to tell you there's a Pokemon near you, which is pretty cool. Um, so now I'm going to go back to my settings, and I'm just going to log out. Yes. And I'm going to try to sign in back into the Pokemon Transfer Club. See if that works. So I'm just going to find my username. And my password, and see if I can sign in. I'm scared. Sign in. Yay! I can sign in. That's awesome. So I'm going to show you my eggs. I got two eggs. And then this, it tells you how close the Pokemon are to you. If there are three paw prints, as you can see, I'll try to show you guys. As you can see, there's three paw prints. They're really far away. If they have two paw prints, they're a little bit closer. If they have one paw print, they're a little bit closer. If they have zero paw prints, they're very close to you. So that's a good thing to keep in mind. Just go to the Pokeball, go to my Pokemon. Right now I have 28 Pokemon. I have two eggs, and there's the eggs. I gotta walk 5.0 kilometers, which is three miles. I have another that I got at a Poke Stop today, which is two. So I think that's a little shorter. Um, with the egg incubator that you get when you first start, you can use it as many times as you want. Or, if you're impatient, which I'm not at this point, you can go to the shop and you can buy one. But the thing is when you buy one, let me find them. There it is. You can only use that five times, I think it is. I think it's you can only use it five times. So. I don't know about you, but I'm going to stick with what I got because I can use it as many times as I like. Um, which I never buy anything from here. Anyway, you can buy coins right there. Um, 10, no, 100 Poke Coins cost 99 cents. Um, 550 costs 4 1200 costs 9 2500 costs 19 dollars Try to read here. 5200 costs 39 and 14 500 costs $9.99. Um, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. Uh, but here, you can see like a little shield. This is a really cool thing. Because if you are already up to a level 5, you can join a team. It took me, it felt like forever to get to level. Hang on. It's gonna start again. It felt like it took me forever to get to level 5. But once you do, you can pick your team, which I found out you have to go to a gym and pick your team. Thing has to be a white gym. It can't be like a colored gym, which is gonna hurt for me. Um, I haven't walked around my neighborhood yet, so I don't know where the Poke Gyms are. So I'm gonna try to walk around tomorrow before my um, relatives viewing. It's at, I should be able to walk. Um, hang on, I touched something. Now I gotta answer this idiot. Okay. Go back. Okay. So once you're in a white gym and you reach level 5, you can join a team. It's red, blue, and yellow if you are not aware of the teams of Pokemon by now. Which I kinda am. I watched the series, I played some of the games when I could. I wasn't able to buy all the games, all the systems that came with, so. 
Um, but once you are part of a gym, bring this guy back up. Once a day, people. Once a day, you can click that. It says you need to assign a Pokemon to a gym to be eligible to for a defender bonus. But as long as your Pokemon is defending your gym, you can get that once a day. Which is good. I think it gives you coins only. I'm not sure. I haven't tried it yet. That's pretty cool. But on here, I'm trying to sh see other things. There's a Pokedex. And here's all my Pokemon. Um, I'm going to show you how to transfer some. I have two of each. Because my strategy is to keep one... Seriously, people. Honestly. Um, my plan is to keep one in with me at all times and one at a gym when I make them powerful enough. Um, so you can go here and you can Corgasm by recent, favorite, number, HP, name, or combo power or CP. Um, I'm going to do it by name because I have multiples. See, I have two Bellsprout. Um, I have... Woo. I used to have two of Eevee, but I evolved one, which is really cool. Um, I have two Pereras, PG. The PG was really easy to get. I got it around my house for Christ's sake. I did. I got lots of these today. <laughs> um, Polyrag, which was interesting. Um, Ratatina. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's been a few years since I've seen Pokemon, but I think that's right. Weedle. Um, let's do Weedle. You just go in there and you go all the way to the bottom where you were and you can click transfer. I can evolve this guy. Um, let's evolve him because I have enough candies to evolve him. To evolve him I need 12 candies. I have 16. So I'm going to show you guys how to evolve a Pokemon which is very cool. I evolved Eevee earlier today and it was really cool to watch. So we're going to evolve him. Yes. And we're going to watch it evolve. <laughs> it's exciting. So I'm just waiting. My iPad does that sometimes. But whatever. It's still pretty cool. And now look at him. I should check what he is after they evolve. Yeah. I have two of these now. I do. I have two of these now. So we're going to exit that guy back in, and it should be different. A to Z. Yeah. I guess I have more. So now I have two of these guys. Um, so I'm going to take the one that is very low CP, and we're just going to take him. We're going to take him all the way down to the bottom where it says transfer. You'll see this at the beginning when you get a Pokemon. Just click transfer. You send it to the professor, and he gives you a candy, which is very good when you want to evolve more. Um, with a magic carp, it confused the hell out of me. I wasn't near water. Um, I was on dry land. This is a water type, obviously. I was on dry land, nowhere near a pond, a lake, nothing. And he was just sitting right there. <laughs> so that was a little confusing. Like, how did I get a water type and not be near the water? Um, let me find the Eevee I evolved. Here she is. So this is a water type, but I didn't catch this one. I evolved it. Um, so there's Vapor on. It tells you their the powers. She has water gun and hydro pump. You can transfer her, but I don't want to. I worked too hard to evolve this one. So as you can do with multiples, you can um, transfer them to the professor, and he'll give you candies, which will help you to power up your Pokemon or evolve them like I did. I'm gonna see if there's any more I can evolve. That was fun. Nope, can't evolve that one. I don't know. I didn't think. No. I mean, you can power them up too if you wanted to. Which is what I try to do. I had Jigglypuff. That was a shock to me. I was just outside my, <laughs> my house just cleaning the car because of the viewing tomorrow and all. And Jigglypuff appeared. I wasn't expecting Jigglypuff to appear. Um, Jigglypuff is easy to catch. Hell, I'm not naming my Pokemon. I'm just thinking them as, like, as they are. Because I'm lazy and I don't feel like coming up with all these names. 
So I'm just leaving that there. You can name them if you want to. If you wanted to name one, like this guy, you just click the little pencil. I'm going to show you guys. So the little pencil by the name, you can click that and you can add a name. But I don't want to. I just leave my there because I'm lazy. Um, let's see. Can I upgrade Magikarp? Nope. I mean, the Magikarp thing really confused the hell out of me. It's like, how did I get a water when I wasn't near water? It was crazy. There is a lot of water um, surrounding my neighborhood, as I saw. Ooh, I can evolve this one. Let's evolve this one. This is fun. Yes. So we're going to evolve him. So much for to evolve. I just love evolving and powering up my Pokemon. That's why I like thinking about. Um, but tomorrow's plan is I'm going to get up with Koji. We're going to go for a walk and try to catch as many as Pokemon as possible before I have to come back home and change. So there's a Pokemon. Ooh. That's a new one. I haven't evolved this one. Ah, I loved this Pokemon so much. Yes. Look at that guy. Oh, yes. That's awesome. So there's that one. Um, the hard thing about evolving Pikachu is I worked so hard to find him. I haven't seen any videos on YouTube where you could find Pikachu because it's so freaking hard. Um, everybody's telling you just at the beginning of when you start this, which I wasn't aware of when I first started, is that you have to move away from him four times before you find Pikachu because Pikachu is my favorite, obviously. I have two of those. <laughs> so I really love Pikachu. So I'm like, I have to have Pikachu as my number one. And that's what I did. I haven't seen any videos of finding Pikachu in the game, so... If you really want Pikachu, that's the only way I see if you're getting him. So I don't know how I'm going to evolve him. Here's Poliwag. I have two of these, like I said before. Um, Ratatina, let's see if I can evolve you. I can evolve you. Let's evolve you. Yes. Let's see what this guy becomes. I just miss them saying their names when they would talk. That's what I love about Pokemon. You see, say their actual name, which is really cool. Huh. I tried to catch that one earlier. <laughs> I did. It was too strong. Darn it. I did try to catch this one earlier, but it was too strong for my Pokeballs. And there he is. So cute. I'm saying so cute for a rat. <laughs> Never thought I would say that. Alright. So I'm just going through these and see if I can evolve anymore because I love evolving my Pokemon. I have Staryu. Staryu. Yes. I powered him up a bit. That's what I did. And then here's Vaporon. Um, I can only power this one up. Which I'm going to do. Because I've got a lot of Stardust from catching Pokemon. Let's see what happens if I keep powering you up. How far can I go? Oh, I only got one more. Because I don't have more candy. That's it. I have no more candy. It costs 600 Stardust, which I have a lot of, because you get Stardust when you catch Pokemon. And I did a lot of that today. I don't know how many Pokemon I've catched today. Um, if you're on my Instagram, um, you would have seen a lot of pictures of me posting what Pokemon I caught today. I got a lot of followers because of that, too, because it would do the hashtag Pokemon Go. So you need 600 Stardust, and you need a candy. And the only way you can get a candy, from my experience, is the Professor. I think you might get some candy if you level up, but I don't know. I don't see any. Um. There's the internet. I love him. I can only power him up, though. So I can't evolve him. And that's pretty much it. Pretty much of my Pokemon. So wait, no, my Aida. This is a really cool game. I really got into this game like never before. I've always been a fan of Pokemon. I've always wanted to do this kind of stuff. So, once I turned things to level 5 or 6, um, I got a potion and revive. And I got another incense. Um, what it says for the potion is a spray type medicine for treating wounds. It restores the HP of one Pokemon by 20 points. 
it's a good thing to have. I have 20 of those. Um, the revive is a medicine that can be can revive fainted Pokemon. It also restores half of a fainted Pokemon's maximum HP, which is also good. And I have 15 of those. It's like my question is since in the game we have Pokestops, we have gyms. What about the Pokemon hospitals? Is there any Pokemon hospitals? I don't know. I haven't counted any. I haven't heard anybody talk about them either. Um, so that is. I think that's it. Um, there's tips on here if you want tips, but I haven't gone there. I go to YouTube for my tips. That's what I do. Um, there's actually a YouTube channel. Let me see if I can find it because I subscribe to these people. They really helped me out a lot um, when it came to the game. So I'm going to try to find them, which I have to sign in again. Oh my goodness. So, email, password, do 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 do. <sighs> He's asleep. Um, so I'm gonna try to find. See, the only way I found out about this game was because of my YouTube subscriptions. That's it. I had no idea. Um, I saw that there's a couple of videos that I get to my email every day about Pokemon Go. I'm like, well, what is this? Because there's been a lot of cool Pokemon games on um, for the iOS, but I haven't seen any that I like. So, yeah. So I'm just going to go here. I'm just going to go through these channels and try to find them. To T. I'm going to try to find them as quickly as possible. Okay, let's see. Where are they? Ha. Huh. Trainer tips. If you don't know this channel, this channel is going to be your friend. I promise. Because <laughs> they have... I watched every um, daily adventure. It shows you how to play it. A walkthrough and stuff like that. Kind of like what I showed you. But they're a little bit more funnier than me. I guess. I don't know. Um, but they have four videos right now. Which... Oh, they had two new ones. I haven't seen the two new ones yet. I saw the first four. Because that was all available like yesterday. So they have two new ones. Um... Um, the first one is called How to Play Pokemon Go. The next is That's Pokemon Go. Let's Play Pokemon Go. And then it's Dante Briscoe Plays Pokemon Go. It's like almost his whole family is playing this game. Except one, I think. Because they don't have it on his phone yet. Um, Cabby went with Pokemon Go, which that was interesting. Um, the next two I haven't seen yet. I really want to see these. Um, Bell and Jim's in Pokemon Go, and Pokemon Go is making headlines worldwide, which is true. Um, I heard on my news channel, which is 10 News, that there's a new addictive game. I had no idea it was this game until I watched it. I'm like, ah! I watched it like the day after my phone. Because I DVR stuff. That's what I do. So now since I have my eggs, I have to walk everywhere. So every time I go walking, I take this guy with me. I'm going to take it out of its case today. Um, I had it out of its case yesterday, I think. And, uh, yeah. Could you say Just to walk around, and I'm just looking for new Pokemon, which... Okay, here's another thing you should know about this part, the nearby. So down here on the right, you should see Pokemon. If they're covered like this... You've caught them before. Um, if they're in a shadow, it means you haven't caught them, and you should probably go catch them. Which is what I think every time I see a shadowed. Um, there's no shadowed, so I caught all of those. Um, it's Eevees, Pidgey, Sparrow. I caught all these. The ones that I've caught the most is the Rachnia and the Pidgey. I caught those so many times. It's crazy. It's very addicting. <laughs> see, as you can see, there's like lots of water surrounding my neighborhood. Lots of water. I'm going to try like to show. Okay, so there's water right there. And then we're going to go another angle. Kind of show water. There's a little pond right there. I think that's the pond where I go to a lot. I go to the pond. We have like a little tiny pond around here and then right here is another water source 
Um, so my plan is to get up tomorrow, hopefully early enough to do this, and take Koji with me, pack my bag, have lots of water for me and him because he's turning 11 and he's getting older. And we're gonna walk as far as we possibly can to find co uh, Pokemon, Poke Stops, and hopefully a gym. Because I'm level 6 and I haven't chosen my team yet. Because there are no gyms yet near me. So I'm hoping if I go on this walk tomorrow, which is good for me, I guess they want us to get out. Get out the, I don't know. But it's a fun way to do it, I swear. So if I go out, I'm gonna try to find a gym. Um, I know one pokey stop in my neighborhood. I haven't gotten there yet because I found out about this like Monday night. <laughs> I haven't had time to go for a walk yet. Um, so what I'm going to do after this video is I'm going to create a new email address because I don't like this Pokemon trainer stuff. Even though I'm going to get rid of my eggs but I can find Pikachu again. Again. Um, so do like I said, if you really want Pikachu like I do, because he's my number one. Um, when you see the f the three Pokemon, walk away from them four times. Yeah, I think it was four times I walked away. But it might be more, I don't know. Just keep walking away until you see Pikachu, that's all I can say. Because when I found him, I was giddy. I was so happy I found Pikachu. Because like I said, I haven't seen any videos that say how to catch Pikachu. Um, what I'll do is I'll do a search on YouTube right now. How to get Pikachu in Pokemon Go. Because I googled this before. As you can see, nothing. How to get Pikachu starter Pokemon. That's basically it. There's like nothing saying how to get him otherwise. Just how to get him when you start. That's it. So this is this has to tell you how hard it is to find Pikachu right now. He's like everybody's number one. I'm just circling to see if there's any more Pokemon. Um let me see my items. Yeah. I'm not gonna use that incense right now. I'll use it like probably when I'm walking around that way Pokemon come to me. Which is something I should have done at the store. I went grocery shopping, I was like, pretty woody and stuff like that. I'll probably find some bug, some bug Pokemon, some birds in the store. Very little birds. Mostly like bug and plant Pokemon I found. So what I might do is when I'm walking, I'll do the instance. Some more Pokemon come to me. But like I said, I'm gonna go out walking. I'm a little scared to go out this late at night though. That worries me. Um. So I might wait till tomorrow and try to like, I'm still going to do my new Gmail account tonight and then tomorrow I will try to get Pikachu again because I don't like this um, trainer, Pokemon trainer system thing they got going because um, I haven't been able to be on it for the past three hours. Three hours at least. And I was like checking in, trying to get back in, trying to get back in and see if there's any Pokemon near me. And I have to hatch eggs, people. So I need to walk to hatch eggs. And I wasn't able to do that. Still no shadow Pokemon yet. Um, so yeah, that's going to be it. Because look at my character. She's so cute. Um, I'm going to click my card. You can click on your character too. Look at that. You can spin her around like that. Thank you. And you can see your medals. You get medals here, people. Um, I've gotten a medal for a collector. I have collected 46 Pokemon out of 500 so far. Um, I have a punk girl medal. I have a school kid. Um, I have a jogger, scientist, um, Pikachu fan. Yes. Um, fairy tale girl, woo, back. Gardener and swimmer. I don't know why that's swimmer though. Swimmer. Caught five water type Pokemon, that's why. Gardener caught eight grass Pokemon. Yeah, I guess you have to catch um, two more Pikachu to uh, 
to get what it is. I don't know. But from what I've seen, it's very hard to find Pikachu. So if you haven't started yet, you have a good chance of finding Pikachu right now. Just log in like I showed you. Go outside when you feel comfortable, not at the darkness of night, because people are crazy. And walk away from the three Pokemon you see about four times, and you should see Pikachu, which is awesome if he's your number one. If not, then don't do that. But that's just me. Okay, so I'm going to sign off for today. And tomorrow I'm going to be talking about my relative's viewing. Because he passed away. I wasn't very close to him. Um, but I'm going to tell you what, what it was like. And my family and all that fun stuff. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. And I'll tell you what the viewing was like. If you're into that kind of thing. So, I'm going to end the video like this. My email is, my social media, and my blog links will be in the description below. Please subscribe, and please comment any questions or anything you want to know about the game. Um, I've learned a lot in the past two days. Um, so I'm pretty sure I can answer it, and if I cannot answer it, I will find the information for you. So thank you again for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.